When did you book your first acting job, DB? <laughs> when? You're waiting to be discovered? All right. Okay. Oh, um, including like a renaissance fair. <laughs> I was like the village idiot, I'm no. pretty sure. That was actually in fifth grade. I didn't get to there. I guess that's really where it started. I got booked on a television show. I was a victim on America's Most Wanted. Yeah, I got shot, but I made a phone call that saved my life. I, I know, maybe I died, I can't remember at the moment. But they did catch the guy who did it, so well, yay. That's good to know. Yeah. I was very young. No, I wanted to be Robin Hood. You know, I wanted. <laughs> I started seeing plays in London as a kid, probably around age seven or eight. My family was itinerant. My father's work was with Tourism Canada, so we moved somewhere new like every three, four years, and we found ourselves in um, in Holland in the 1970s. And so that was just a skip across the channel to go on holidays to London, where I fell in love with museums and parks and the shops and the charm of all, and naturally the theater. I mean, mom and dad would give us tickets and we would go see Jesus Christ Superstar or uh, Oliver or uh, The Mouse Trap, which was then in its like 35th year. <laughs> now it's like in its 70th year in the same place. Um, anyway, that, that's where the... The bug I think so, yeah. yeah. That's, where, that's, where the, I, that's where I started to feel like, I want to do that. The film's The Whale. I felt my teeth sweating. I wanted to do it so much. I knew it was the story of a man who'd been living alone in a two-bedroom apartment somewhere in Idaho for a considerable amount of time. He had certain regrets for life choices he had made, and he had been harming himself by overeating to such an extent that he was very unhealthy. On paper, he had five days to live. I know that Darren was favorably disposed to work with me. I got a text from him in what I would learn to be a typical Darren Aronofsky fashion where he starts the conversation right in the middle. Here's your research, read this, watch this. And I had to text him, I was like, am I hired? He said, yes, you're hired. He gave so much source material, consultations with the Obesity Action Coalition, which is uh, a, a support group that attends thousands and thousands of people who live with obesity. The similar common denominator was that someone spoke cruelly to oh. them when they were very young. And oh. words of meaning, and, and they can affect our very health in a way that I did not appreciate personally. I once was in Bangkok years and years ago and visiting a temple. There was a small sign that said, painful indeed is vindictive speech. That, that stayed with me. And I thought of that often. Do you have a karaoke song? Yeah, The Clash. Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> if I stay, there will be trouble. <laughs> there will be double. <laughs> Come on, and let me know. Should I stay or should I go? I sing poorly. 